I already shot one one, so I just let stop by giving all I didn't glory two. Yeah, I would by Hashem, Yah Shai by Hashem or Kakwadash. Yeah, how would be in the name of the most high heavenly father? Uh yeah, how shy be in the name of his only begotten son? And uh Rakakwadash is the spirit, spirit holy. Uh that will honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the I can push this this word with truth and sincerity and with charity. And uh today we're gonna title this lesson, uh The Lord uh what is your refuge? Mm -hmm. Strange times is when it hit this earth, man. A time like never before is when it happened to this earth. And what is your refuge, man? Uh, I got this one, this uh, precept. Send one second slide. Psalms 9. It reads, this is Psalms 9 and 9. It says, Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Mm -hmm. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, for thou, Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai, has not forsaken them that seek thee. So, yeah, man, the scriptures say that it's going to be a time upon this earth like now before, and we're going to be entering into a time of Jacob's trouble soon, right? And uh, it's to, it, and basically the people that's gonna be in them days, they're gonna be in a heap of trouble, man. They're gonna be uh, it's gonna be people being persecuted. It's gonna be uh, martial law is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a real chaotic uh time. And what the scripture saying is the only people that's gonna that's gonna have some type of refuge in that day is the people that know the names Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. So that's my question, man. I got what uh, is your refuge? You go so I, I got uh, two on for you, I right, quick. Uh, let me see. Oh, let's lock you. Okay, con. This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Alas, for that great, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, so hey man, it's gonna be a time that's never like me before, man. I was gonna be all strange, all manners of strange things happening out here, man. I can't even think of. All right, it's gonna be uh, uh, a a lot of weird stuff, man. It's gonna be admirations coming back, man. Or judgments uh, that were put on uh, Egypt is gonna come back. All right, uh, uh, and it says that, uh, but but he shall be saved out of it. So Jacob is gonna be saved out of it, man. Jacob all right, not two kind, kind, not two thirds of our people, because they're they're not considered Israelites. All right, all of Israel is not Israel right now. Okay, so Jacob is gonna be saved, who is the elect man? All right, the elect is gonna be saved. So I got one more for you. Um, this is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower, the righteous run it into it, and it's safe. So, hey, amen. The righteous is gonna run into the name of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, man. All right, that's our strong tower, man. All right, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, man. All right, so we're gonna call upon. The name of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, which is going to be a wise thing to do in those times, man. Are we going to pray to the Lord? All right, amen. The Lord is going to take us out of a, a, a lot of um, strange things that's going to be happening to us, man. All right, hey, we could be hiding in the bush. All right, we could be in plain sight. And then uh, martial law can come and look at us. And they can see, they, they can look at us, man. And we'll be invisible. All right, hey, we don't, hey, you don't know what the Lord can do, man. Hey, you run to that, uh, to the name of Yahweh Bashimi Shai, man. That's a strong tower. All right. Hey, that's what's going to get us through these hard times out to come, man. You got some? Yeah, I got some. <clears throat> this Psalm 62 and 1, it says, Truly my soul waiteth upon Yahweh by Shem Shai. From he, I mean, from him comes my salvation. He only is, uh, he only is my rock and my salvation. He is Sorry. my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. So, we wait on the most high, man. He is going to be uh, our salvation, man. He's our defense, man. Just like brothers talking about the martial law troops, man. If somebody, they can see you, be hidden in plain sight. Because the Lord says he's going to protect his uh, elect, man. You know, the Lord, he has something for his elect, man. They're going to be uh, safe in them days. They're going to eat. You know, the Lord is going to work miracles for them, man. I'm going to jump down to verse uh, verse 5. It says, my my soul wait on um, thy only upon Yahweh Shemel Shai, 
for my expectation is from him. I mean, yeah. Verse six, he only is, is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. And Yahweh is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in Yahweh. So the refuge, man, his shelter, man. The what we um uh, what we our house, man. You know, he is he's our shelter from hard, these hard times, man. Refuge. When people seek refuge, man, they usually have nowhere to go, man. It's usually like hard times happening, man. So right. we're gonna come to your house by Shimei Shai to be our shelter, man, our refuge from these hard times that are here, man. I got some right quick. This is uh second Ezra shot the 15 and verse 4 for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right, man. So hey, if you don't have faith in your house by Shimei Shai, man, you're gonna die in your unfaithfulness, man. All right, you have to have faith, man. Okay, you have to have faith that the Lord is gonna bring you through whatever you're going through, man. Because, hey, man, like I said, it's going to be uh, so many weird things happening out here that, hey, I can't even think of. But, you know, hey, man, uh, you got you to just keep the faith in your heart about me. I was shy that he's going to get you through it, man. All right? So you won't have to die on your faith in this, man. I got one. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the book of Sirach, uh chapter 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon his name, man? Look at the examples in the, in the, uh, in the past, man. The prophets that called upon him and the people that came into him, he didn't uh, let them down, man. He didn't uh, deliver them into, you know, uh, damnation. Uh, damnation, basically, mm -hmm. man. He he took care of them, all them that uh, that suck, that, that seeked after him, man. Uh, you got some more? I got one. Uh, you can go ahead and get that out. This is Isaiah chapter uh Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Um let me see. Yeah, I'm kind. And uh, uh it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which it that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing uh, whereto I sent it. So, amen. Um, the word of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will not come back void, man. All right, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai said that he will save Jacob out of it, man. All right, so, hey, the elect is going to be saved throughout all these afflictions, all these hard times, all these uh, crazy things that are going on, man. The elect is not going to be uh, uh, touched, man. All right, the elect is going to be um, uh, saved through this, okay? Hey Amen. We don't feel what the man can do to our body, but uh, we feel Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai who can destroy our body and soul in hell, man. So, hey, hey, man, uh, the Lord said He's gonna save us out of this, hey, amen. So, we gotta have faith that He's gonna do it, man. His word don't come back void. Come on, I got one. This is 1 Samuel 17 and 45. It says, Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comes to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of Yahweh Power. Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai of hosts, That's the right. power of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Man, and that was David. That's what David said to uh, Goliath, man. You say you come to me with basically with carnal weapons, but I come to you in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, man. The most powerful thing, man. Something he he, uh, he went and uh, smoked the uh, giant with just off the spirit of that, man. Huh. So we gotta have that same attitude uh, when we when we facing when we in Jacob's trouble, man. And we facing uh, afflictions then and right now, man. Kind of, hey, uh, um, uh, Goliath, man. Hey, he had all those men out there so afraid, man. You know, uh, these, these was men of war. All right, afraid of this man. And David just walked up to him like, hey, man, I I, I come to you in the name of your how about me? I was shy. Hey, man. Hey, what 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 more can you do? What more do we need? Right, Khan. What more do we need, man? Hey, right. if we got the Lord, who can stand against us, man? No one. Khan. You know? But uh, I'm bringing this out right quick because, hey, man, hey, this, hey, this is just to prove that hard times are to come. This is, um, let me see how I want to start. Uh, it's a lot here. Let me see something. Oh, so like um, I'm just starting at 10. This second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, 
I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues uh, as before and will destroy all the land thereof. All right, so he said, I will smite Egypt uh, uh, as before, man. So, hey, Egypt is going to be smite again with those same plagues, which is what? Well, what is Egypt today? Um, Can you grab uh, Revelation chapter 18, I believe? 18 verse 10, something like that. It's Revelation 18 and uh, 10, it says, Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas. Nice. Oh. Is that it? Uh, no, nah, I don't think that sounds just it's like it. Uh, I don't find it. Or, spiritual sign. Yeah, yeah, kind, kind, kind. Because, hey, man, uh, Babylon, the greatest spiritually Sodom in Egypt, man. All right? Which is America. America is spiritually Sodom in 11 Egypt. and 8. Kind, kind. Uh, this is uh, Revelation 11 and 8. It says, it's like it. it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where, where also our Lord was crucified. Kind, man. So, hey, this is spiritually Sodom in Egypt, man. Okay, Babylon and Great America, man. All right, this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. So, hey, those plays are going to come back, all right, and smite uh, this place, man. So uh, it says, <clears throat> Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation uh, of it shall be smitten uh, with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn for, uh, for their seed uh, shall fail through the blasting and hell and with a fearful um, consolation, woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw at night. Uh, one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hand. All right. So, amen. That's race wars. Amen. Uh, and it says, for there shall be sedition amongst men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And uh in course of their action, and their actions shall stand in their power. So hey man, you hey, they ain't even gonna regard uh uh their kings, man, their presidents. Hey man, they ain't gonna look at none of that, man. All right, they hey man, they're gonna be out to kill everybody. It's gonna be a full on purge, man. Twenty uh a uh, 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 twenty four ninety purge, man. All right, non-stop. All right, it's not gonna be just a one day thing, man. This is gonna go on for uh for as long as the Lord wanted to go on. And it says, a man shall, shall desire to go into a city and shall not uh, be able. So, amen, that's martial law. All right. What, hey, 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 all, all they got to do is raise up the Chicago bridges, man. All right. Hey, then, hey, this is just going to be a, a sitting island. Okay. Hey, can't no fool come in or out, man. All right. You try to swim uh, uh, to get to another side of the lake. Hey, they just going to smoke you. All right, man. They can just snipe you down. So, hey, man, they hey, they go have you sit in one spot, man, straight up martial law. And you niggas uh, with all your guns and, and all that, man, hey, I want to see what you go do against Esau. You, hey, you can go and kill your own people, but what you go do against Esau, man, in that day? You know? But um, let me see. Uh, For because of their pride, the city shall be shoveled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So, hey, man, hey, me and I going to be afraid. You two-third niggas is going to be afraid of Esau either, man. You're going to be shitting your pants, man, when Esau comes down with great wrath. Because, hey, man, Esau, know he got a small amount of time, so he's going to bring out all, all, hey, man, he going to uh, uh, pull out all the strings, man. I got it for you. What verse you got? Um, I'm on verse 18. Shit. Uh, Hold on. Verse 14? Yeah. Come on. It says, woe, woe to the world and no, them. Yeah, verse 15 it was. Oh, you want to read again? Yeah. This is second as it shot the uh, mm. 15 and verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw at night, and one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. Ah, so when this stuff goes down, you know that destruction is coming soon. Mm -hmm. So you got to so you gotta get, uh, uh, that's when the refuge is, man. When that sword is coming soon, man, and well, even in all these calamities, all these things happening, man, but that uh uh that's gonna help you through your destruction, man. That's the thing that's not gonna get destroyed. 
Yahaba Shinal Shai with that refuge of you, man. Yeah, keep wait. This one to say seditions, right? Yeah, kind of. That's the next verse. Yeah, you read that. It says, for there shall be sedition amongst men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the uh, course of their actions shall stand in their power. Come, when you have said yeah, they won't regard their kings, man, that's sedition, man. It's basically uh, when people, they hit, like, a sedition is basically when people go against their uh, higher ups, man. Mm -hmm. When somebody go persuade them. To not listen to what's going on, man. With this government shutdown, people gonna be they gonna be damn, man. We ain't getting our uh our link and all that. And somebody they gonna be convinced to go against the man. God, people gonna be trying to survive, man. They not gonna give a fuck about your uh level in society you are, man. <laughs> people gonna be out here struggling to uh gonna be battling to get their next meal to feed their family, man. That's right. Huh? Oh, people gonna turn into wild animals, man. But uh, what the what the what the scripture says it says that the elect they gonna have they fool man. Con, but you should be hungry. Exactly, con. You can grab that because man, that's what it all ties back into man. It ties back into that uh, Psalms man. The Lord is our refuge man. He gonna make sure his elect eat. That's Lord right. willing, we amongst that number. Con, I got this out. I got something right quick. This is Ezekiel chapter thirty three verse thirty three. And when this come and, and when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Shit. Then shall they know that a prophet have been have been among them. So, hey man, all, hey, all you scoffers out there, okay, all you two third niggas that think this is a joke. All right, we just niggas wearing dresses. All right, just doing this for for just because we insane, man. Hey man, it will come to pass, man. And then you shall know that a prophet must, was among you, man. You know, I ain't got that. This is Isaiah sixty five and thirteen. It says, therefore, as thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So man, the Lord is his said his service go eat, man. But you you not, man, you go be hungry, man. If you don't know them names, if you don't know your how about Hashem Shai, man, you you gonna be fucking that day, man. That's you're right. not gonna have no no true refuge. Uh you're not gonna have no security in that day. Mm -hmm. Uh you know what scripture I'm getting into. Uh what acts? As he did going uh basically when I'm talking about a false sense of security, uh a man as a man did flee from a lion. Oh, oh, yeah, I was Amos. just trying to find that, man. Amos, Amos. Hey, that's the spirit, bro. I know this one. It's Amos, you. um, yeah. it's Amos 9? Yeah, but basically, nine, man, eight. what I'm saying is, man, yeah. the Lord is going to be our only refuge. He's going to be our only security, our only true security, man. What this Amos is going to go into is going to be people, uh, the people that don't have the Lord, man, they're going to have a false sense of security, man. It's going to ultimately lead, uh, lead to their, uh, they, uh, death, man. Go ahead, read that. Is it, um, you good? Is it Amos? Uh, 19. Is Amos? Go down to 19. Verse 19? Wait. Amos 9 and... Start at 18. I thought it was 5. Yeah. Amos, it, it's Amos 5 and 18 here. It says, oh, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai is darkness and not light, man. So when the Lord does come back, man, it's going to be a dark, gloomy day. It's not going to be a... Uh, it's not going to be a beautiful day when a uh when it when it's clouds outside and it just looks all beautiful and this golden rays and stuff no it's gonna be a, a horrible day man I mean, for jesus, you people jesus christ for you two thirty <laughs> people man <laughs> right oh, uh, it says so as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him so basically man you're not gonna have no security man if you don't know these names if you don't know your how away your how is shy man you're you're fucked and you're not gonna have no security. Huh. It's as simple as that. That's why we started this off and we asked you, man. We know what our refuge is. What is yours? They refuge is Donald Trump. Okay. Your refuge is eternal <laughs> things, man. The scripture said that your uh so many I don't want to paraphrase too much, but it says your uh gold and your silver. Uh, talking about uh, your assets and I will be able to save you in the day of the Lord. Man, let me see. Man, let me find. I know this, it's man. Sad, so. Oh, is it, it, it Isaiah twenty eight and twenty eight? Uh, Silver. I think it's Zephaniah. Zephaniah. I'm thinking Zephaniah 13. Is it, is it like um Kaz says treasures to the street? 
Just later. later. I'm, I'm, I, I got it. I, I can find it. All right. Zephaniah 118, it says, Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land, man. But yeah, back to what I'm saying, man. When the Lord comes back, man, the only thing that you have is his name, man, and your faith, man. If you don't have that, man, you're going to lean on to some carnal things. You're going to lead into a felon uh, currency. You're going to lead into a, uh, your assets. It's going to fail you, man. Hey, you know what they ultimately going to lean into? The RFID chip. And you going you gonna suffer the wrath for that, man. Ain't no repentance from that, man. Exactly. Once uh, you take that, you done. Yeah. Bro, that Christianity make no sense. If he come if so called Jesus come back to save everybody, like who what is he saving them from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they nice say in the churches thing. they saved already. I always ask my mom, what you saved from. So yeah, hey, hey man, that's prideful as hell, man. Hell yeah, they call themselves a lot. Yeah, kind. kind. Hey, and, and and a woman even told me that at work that she she hey I <laughs> I, I asked her do you do you know what the elect is? Cause, she, cause, cause she said she I went to church. She said I'm one of them. Hell yeah, bitch, you wicked as hell. Tell me you 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 uh are of the elect. You ain't other fucking elect. Bitch, cover your head and go clean something. <laughs> uh, Y'all got some? Uh, kind. This is uh Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the day of for behold, Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So amen. The Lord is coming back with full on wrath, man. All right, full on death and destruction to Babylon and Great Man. Yeah, he said he's coming to uh bring us uh, bring division, man. Bring coming. a sword upon the earth, man. That don't sound like he coming. Here with a uh, rain looking like a hippie. What you want to say? You know, he he ain't coming here looking like a hippie with a headband, man. Oh, yeah. Giving hey. out lollipops. <laughs> hey, 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 then, hey, then, um, uh, damn, how that's good to go? Shit, I don't forget. No way. Yeah. But um, I got one more though. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter seven, verse nineteen. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of wrath of Yahweh, and they shall uh, uh, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their uh, their bowls, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. So, Amen. Just because you got all this money, all right, everything, Amen. You can cast your gold and silver into the streets, all right, your FRNs, man, all right, whatever. You can cast that into the streets, man. But hey, that is not going to help you in the day of the how about Shema Shai, man? All right, the Lord is uh, coming to require blood, man, for your sins, and your iniquities. And if you're not found blameless, then you're gonna suffer that wrath, man. You gonna have right. that uh, that 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 heat that the scriptures speak of, man. Them intercontinental intercontinental ballistic missiles, and also along with that chariot fire, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, and the Lord's spirit is gonna be on is gonna be inside of all of that. They talking, they saying throw your gold. Yo, silver. And that's real money. They're going to be throwing paper. They throwing paper, man. They throw, right. See, they get out of here. They ain't going to mm -hmm. help you, man. Paper, they ain't nothing. God. Y'all got something? Nah, I'm going to end it on that. All right. Uh, with that being said, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak Kodash. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shall you taste to the I can push in this word with truth and sincerity and with charity? Uh, Shalom. We hope this was edifying and a Bob Paul. A Bob Paul.